curious about subscribing to an IPO but confused about how to bid for one? This guide is for first-time IPO investors looking to navigate the process efficiently. With streamlined rules, bidding online is a convenient way to subscribe to an IPO, provided you have the necessary paperwork in place. Here are some fundamental tips to get you started. IPOs are classified into three categories, retail, high net worth individual, HNI, and institutional. The retail category, open to the public, allows investments up to rupees 2 lakhs. SEBI designs this quota to ensure broad retail participation. HNI and institutional categories have proportionate or discretionary allocation. There are two pricing types, fixed price and book-built IPOs. In book-built IPOs, the company provides a price range with the cut-off price decided during the bidding process. In fixed price IPOs, the price is set in advance. To bid for an IPO, you need a designated bank account, a DEMAT account come trading account, with a depository participant, DP, PAN card, address proofs, and an ASBA, application supported by blocked amount, form. The ASBA form authorizes your bank to block funds for the IPO bid, earning interest until allotment. Retail investors can bid on IPOs by following the lot size, which specifies the minimum number of shares to subscribe. The maximum for retail investors is rupees 2 lakh. Bidding can be done online through DMAT and trading accounts or offline by visiting a broking firm's office. Online applications are preferred for their simplicity. Retail investors can bid at the cut-off price, which increases their chances of getting shares, especially in oversubscribed offers. Offline bidding is also possible, but online applications are preferred for their convenience. To bid online for an IPO, use your trading platform's IPO page to select the IPO, enter the number of shares, and submit your bid. You will receive an IPO application number and transaction details. If the IPO is oversubscribed, you may receive fewer shares or none at all, and your blocked money will be released accordingly. Successful bidders receive a confirmatory allotment note, CAN, within six working days, which are then credited to your DMAT account. Once the shares are listed on stock exchanges, you can choose to hold or trade them. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.